Nancy Mace right, right you, now. Yeah. Yeah. Let me give you my response. It'll be similar to yours when it comes to Nancy Mace. First of all, George Stephanopoulos was not trying to shame Nancy Mace, but when you put these right-wing turds, and that's, by the way, who Nancy Mace is, in a corner where they are forced to either do one of two things, either defend a liable rapist or don't. She decides to defend a liable rapist. Why? She openly endorses him and supports him. But you see, her response is, since it wasn't a criminal case and it was liable, she's trying to discredit the victim, E. Jean Carroll, which is disgusting. That's number one. Number two, you want to talk about shaming? Let me be very clear. Nancy Mace is a disgrace. She's not only a disgrace to women and victims of sexual assault, she's a disgrace to this country. Why? If anybody out there should be disgusted by this E. Jean Carroll case and what Donald Trump was found liable of, which is sexual abuse, sexual battery, it should be somebody like Nancy Mace, who tragically had to go through a similar circumstance when she was only 16 years old. But instead of answering it appropriately, she defends Donald Trump and she deflects, and then she tries to play the victim of the question. Let me be very clear. A perfectly legitimate question to ask anybody who is a victim of sexual assault, or quite frankly, anybody who's even not a victim of sexual assault, is why and how can you support a liable sexual abuser? How can you defend that? Very fair question. I'm not trying to shame somebody when I ask them that. In fact, I think it's a very appropriate question to ask. Now, if you're the type of person that cares more about policy or you just don't like Democrats or you don't like Joe Biden mm -hmm. and you would rather vote for a liable rapist because you don't like Joe Biden's policies, then go ahead and say it on the air. At least I'll, even though I'll completely disagree with you and I think it's disgusting, at least I'll have a little bit of respect for you because at least you're being honest, even though I don't agree with you. Not only did she not do that, but she tries to discredit E. Jean Carroll by saying, well, that wasn't a criminal case. So, you know, Donald Trump couldn't have done it, right? Because it's not a criminal case. Not only does she make that disgusting argument, but she tries to go after George Stephanopoulos and all these people on the far right on social media that are, that are, oh, George worked in the Clinton administration. Clinton's a rapist. First of all, that question has, as Chris ap appropriately pointed out, has nothing to do with Bill Clinton. It, the question has to do with two things, and that's it. It doesn't matter who's asking it. O.J. Simpson could have asked the question. It doesn't matter. The question is about Donald Trump being a liable rapist and you being the victim of a sexual assault. How could you support that? How can you support this? That's what the question is about. Not only did she not answer it, but I'll even take it a step further. She's now campaigning off of it on her website. She's asking for campaign contributions, and she's campaigning off of going after George Stephanopoulos and being a coward and not answering the question. She's trying to make money off of this disaster, and I'm sure Kate Britt will probably do the exact same thing. These two women are despicable. They are despicable members of the Republican Party. Not only do they support a liable rapist, it'd be one thing if you said, listen, I'm not going to vote. I don't like Joe Biden. I'm not a Democrat. I don't like his policies. Okay, fine. Even though I might disagree with you, at least I'll have some respect for you. But they're not saying that. They're not only voting for Donald Trump, but they're endorsing him. And they're trying to lecture us about rape. They're trying to lecture us about sexual abuse. And they support the liable rapist. They can both go fly a kite. You know what? Nancy Mace, if she wa doesn't want to be shamed, it's too late, Nancy. I'm sorry what happened to you when you were 16. I don't wish that upon anybody. But what would you call somebody who is the victim of sexual assault, who supports a liable rapist for political reasons. What would you call that person? Are we supposed to say nice things about you? Not me. Not me, ladies and gentlemen. She's disgusting in every sense of the word. And any woman out there that would be the victim of a sexual assault that would defend Donald Trump and talk about Hunter Biden's penis, you're all disgusting as far as I'm concerned. You're all Marjorie Taylor Greens, and Hillary Clinton was appropriate.